Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Janice. So in today's video, I'm going to review and try on two new Canada Goose coats for you. One is actually a men's, but I think it actually looks nice on women, but it's my fiance's, but I wanted to show it to you. And then um, a woman's puffer jacket that I got. I've always felt here in Ontario, you really need a variation of coats. Our weather can change from really hot to cold quickly. And I find that end of summer to when we get right into the middle of winter, you really need a variation of things like a short or long puffer vests rain jackets all sorts of things like that and then you definitely need a really good parka with a really good hood in my opinion if you're outside or taking public transit first up the coat that i got this is the women's one it is the cypress puffer in black i got size medium this retails for 10.95 canadian so i would say this does fit true to size so i would say if you're new to my channel i'm 5'9 i would say up top i'm a pretty true size medium if i want something fitted although you know sometimes i do size up to a size large but i would say up top i'm more so a medium so i would say this does fit true to size and it does give a little bit of room too it's not too tight so that's great if you want to wear like a big hooded sweater or something like that underneath i would say if in doubt with winter clothing always size up just because you might be layering a lot underneath so I'll put a picture of the tag of the coat up here because for some reason, this one online on the Canada Goose website, it doesn't look as shiny. So this is just the regular black. Um, and you can see it's definitely shiny, but in the picture on the Canada Goose website, it actually looks matte, but this is definitely a bit shinier in person, which I like. So this is the black label coat. I personally prefer this with black. Um, I don't mind the other label, it's just, to me, honestly, it looks a little bit cheap. So I just like this, that it blends more in with the coat. And then this one is definitely a little bit longer. It comes down at the back, so it comes over your bum. And then it has zippers up the side, which is great. Inside, something that is so nice, oh my gosh. The pockets, let's see if I can show you. It's black, so it's a little hard to see. It's almost like a really warm, cozy microfiber feeling. It is honestly the softest pocket I've ever felt. It has a hood. This one does not have fur on it. It has toggles for the hood. Um, the zipper comes up nice and high, up under your chin. On the underside of the hood, when you flip it up like that, it has two reflective strips, so that's nice if you're walking or doing sports, anything like that, skiing at night in the evening. So that's great. And then unzip it. And if you've never had a Canada Goose before, you might think this is a little weird when you look at it. It has two straps like this, so you can wear it as a backpack. The first time I had a Canada Goose coat, I thought that was a little bit annoying that it was in there, but honestly, sometimes I even see people say they're shopping at the mall and it just gets so hot in there, they'll put it on their back, or if you're hiking, maybe cross-country skiing, something like that, and you have like a turtleneck underneath, you might not need to wear this, so this does come in handy, trust me, or if you're maybe going through the airport. So that's nice. Um, inside too there are two big mesh pockets so that's great if you want to put mitts to dry out or anything like that in there and then also down the side it has a zippered pocket and it's very very deep it's huge so you could put your wallet your keys in there it's great so it does have Canada Goose written there. Normally I probably wouldn't like something like that written, but it really, it doesn't bother me actually. I don't mind it at all. It just has um, the same on the little tag. And then here, just in case you're wondering, it does have this that comes out to protect your wrist, just so no cold air gets in there. This is a really nice, soft, almost like a microfiber type material. Almost feels like, like a silky Lululemon Align pant. It's a lot thicker though. It does not have a thumb hole, but it comes out nice and long. Just show you like that. So that's great, and you can easily put your gloves on top. I won't do this completely up right now, but you can see the zipper will go up quite high. And this is something I really love about Canada Goose Coats. Often their hoods come out really far in front of you just to prevent the wind from hitting your face. So you can see there's lots of room. You can pull it out really far. So it looks a little bit funny, but you literally have like a tunnel built around you. So that's great. And then you have the toggles here um, to tighten it up however tight you want it to be. 
So I really like the length of this coat. It does come out a little bit, so it's cut for women's hips. You can see, I'll show you from the side, it's longer, a little longer at the back, so it comes over your bum. And then, sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. If you need to open it up, just say if you're skiing, you're walking around, you're hiking, just to get a little bit of air, you have that option too, or if you have really big hips. I also thought this might be good too, if you're pregnant in the winter time and your stomach is quite large, often, you know, you won't have enough room, but this would be something you could probably wear all throughout the winter because it opens so big. So that's actually a great feature. And like I said, it is the softest pocket ever. It's so nice. And then there's the label. And then that's how long it is from the back. So it just covers your bum, which is great. And just in case you want to see it open, it looks nice open as well. So this is the women's size medium. And you can see, you can undo it all the way up to there. It's nice. And then I'll show you the inside. So here's where I was saying there's mesh pockets. They're really deep there. That would be great for mitts. And then on your left side, there is a really deep zippered pocket. And I'm just noticing, I'm not quite sure what this is for. Oh, it could be maybe that this folds into the pocket and there's a little handle right there. Um, yeah, I would have to look up what that is specifically for, but this is really good for your wallet and keys and then there's another zipper. But keep in mind, I have really wide hips and thighs and this is cut perfectly. It's almost flared out a little bit. So if you're like me, you won't have a problem. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it goes in slightly here and then it goes slightly out. I really, really love this coat. It is so cozy. I really don't want to take it off. It's so comfy. And I just think this is a great all black coat. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, which I personally like. Um, but do keep that in mind because I feel it's a little deceiving on the Canada Goose website. It looks more matte, but it's definitely a little bit shinier in person. All the Canada Goose coats come with a really nice garment bag and also their own um, hanger just so you know I would really recommend this I really love it and I'm so excited to start wearing it next up is my fiance's coat so this is a men's coat I actually did try this on last year at the Canada Goose store just because I really liked this color um, and I, I did really like it on myself and I think you know for reference I think I tried on the size medium and the man said you know he thought that um, look good on me. The reason I didn't get it is because men's coats around the bottom It's not a cut to account for a woman's hips. So I found the women's ones They're just more contour to a women's body and also the men's arms are quite long Anyway, again, I'll put the tag up for this coat. It is called This is a black label again the Canada Goose men's Crofton puffer in Atlantic Navy and he got a size extra large and this was 1050 Canadian. So I would say in tops, he's usually between a large or extra large. So I would say this fits pretty true to size. His arms are very long. I mean, he's like 6'1", but his arms I think are a little bit extra long um, for that height. So that's why he always does size up if in doubt. And I really, really love this color. So again, it has a bit of a sheen to it. It is so comfy. It basically has all the same features that I just said. Um, inside the pockets feel exactly the same. It is, I think, a little bit longer because it's the men's. It has the straps. You can wear it as a backpack. The same mesh pockets, deep pocket in the side, um, same type of hood. Let's just make sure. Yeah, it has the reflector material. That is the label. Yeah, essentially this is just the men's version of the one that I just showed you. So I will try this on for you because even though it is a men's extra large, I don't consider it that, that big. I, I do really like the color though. The arms are definitely what I noticed though. It's very long though. Oh yeah, I really like the color. I would say for any men out there, if you're tired of black, get the navy blue. I find navy blue just looks really, really nice on men. And I really like um, this with the black label. This is one color of coat though. I don't mind the regular label as well. So keep that in mind. 
yeah, you can see like the arms are really long. But I do really like the color. Sorry, but the lighting is dark already. So here is the men's one. This is a men's extra large. It's a little bit hard to tell how big it is, but you can see like the arms are <laughs> much too long for me. And um, yeah, there's like a lot of extra room in it. But I would say around here, it's not as contoured. It does not have the zipper up the side. So keep that in mind. But I just wanted to show you for the color. It's really nice. Here is the men's one. Um, the difference is it's not cut up the side there. And then if I let the arms out, you can see the arms are much longer on the men's and there is a lot of extra space around the waist. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll link both of these codes down below. And then you can also refer to the picture I showed in the screen, just if you wanna make sure you're getting the right one in store. But yeah, I would say both of these do fit true to size. So if you prefer to order online, go ahead, get your normal size.